How's that bacon? Is that yummy? <laughs> so before going into marriage uh almost five years ago i knew that i had a couple of um, medical issues that would make it difficult to get pregnant maybe even impossible we didn't know i have endometriosis and pcos and so we knew right away that once we got married we would we would try to grow a family and uh it did it, it come with its struggles and its ups and downs hensley is so special to us and we're so blessed to have her and she's just an amazing little girl and I think that's why we you know wanted to to choose this lifestyle and spend as much time with her as possible. People talk about how fast time flies with their kids and we wanted to learn from that and we wanted to really savor every single moment we could have with Hensley. We, we hoped that we would have another child at some point but we just didn't know. So we've been trying to add an addition to our family for a while now and you know it's it's a struggle and it's a long road and it's an emotional roller coaster and doing that from the road adds an extra little piece of you know stress and maybe difficulty things have to be timed <laughs> right every month and you have to have things mailed to you that are medical that have to arrive at the exact time have to be sent exactly to a Walgreens and things like that. So it can be done to an extent from the road. But once you start running into more problems of, or maybe noticing that maybe the medicine isn't working like it should month after month after month, um, that's part of why we wanted to come back for this season as well. It's just to take some time to go to our doctor. And the doctor's the same deal. This is one of those deals where, you know, if you've got a sprained ankle, you can go to a lot of different foot doctors. But with pregnancy I know Marissa has told me that it's it's important <laughs> it's important to try to keep the same doctor um, to do those kind of things as much as you can and, yeah and that's important to us I mean I'm a nurse I work in labor and delivery so the doctor that we see I've worked with for years and years and she's just wonderful I trust her and I want to stay consistent in our you know in in our medical journey because things things get lost and slip through the holes when you're doctor jumping. We know that traveling is also doable and we've had a lot of questions with that. What if what if you have a baby? Yeah. And uh, I mean we we have a plan if that happens. We know we're blessed. We know we love our life and we love what we do and we feel like Hensley's a miracle to us um, regardless of what happens in the future. So that's what we're doing this morning. We're going in to the doctor, hopefully just to get some answers. We're gonna get to our appointment and uh, see what we can find out. ultrasound done and everything's in line for good things to happen this month we'll just have to keep being patient and waiting and see what happens we've got a Halloween party with my family tonight and leave it to us to be last minute with no costumes so we're actually gonna head over and uh, see what we can scrounge together today <laughs> Apparently my plan to wait to the last minute did not go over well. They had so many costumes when we were here the other day. And they were 75% off now. <laughs> but there's nothing left. They said one guy bought 450 costumes. That's what happened. There's no way they would have sold all those costumes. No, he bought them all. Wow. I'm sure to resell. 
Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Twinkle. So a little disappointed on the Halloween selection. I guess we learned our lesson on waiting to the last minute because that did not work out to our advantage. I knew they would go on sale, so that's what I was waiting for, but I'd never imagined somebody buying the store out. So our Halloween costumes were cheap, but they're gonna be a little uh they're gonna be a little rough this year. Four dollars and sixty-six cents. <laughs> That's what we spent. Uh, we're going to an event in our hometown called Cooking on the Square. It's put on by Habitat for Humanity and it's $20 for a bowl and there's 75 different uh, vendors who have bowls of soup and you go around and you taste test all the different kinds of um, different kinds of soups that they have. The bowls usually in the past I'm hoping they're gonna they're uh, like pottery so that you get a really cool bowl. You get drink, dessert, a bread, and all you can eat soup. So it's a pretty good deal. We immediately rushed to what looked like the longest line, so. <laughs> Don't know how I recommend that in theme parks, but when it comes to food, if you know the crowd's only gonna get larger. Go there first. Because we beat a lot of the crowd for sure. Really good. What little we got of it. Hensley, I don't know what's going on, man. She's teething. Thing we didn't even know that, you know, two and a half year olds teethed. We thought she was done with that, <laughs> but apparently not. Apparently, uh, you keep getting tortured with your molars even after that. So she's uh, definitely not adjusting to teething well. So yeah, we didn't get to try much soup uh, or sweets or that much of anything, but it was still a lot of fun <laughs> what we did get to try out. I think our whole town is there, so. Yeah, we got to meet a ton of people. Um, so that part of it was fun. And they got to meet our screaming toddler, so. Getting ready for the Halloween party. I'm not gonna lie, I think we went cheap over the common family theme this year. <laughs> we usually try to figure out something as a family, but uh, Marissa's gonna be a, uh, a blue fairy, I guess? Yeah, me and Hensley are gonna wear our wings. Um, so Hensley's gonna be a, another fairy, and I'm gonna be Thor, but I don't, <laughs> I don't think this hair. <laughs> I, don't, I don't look too intimidating. Yeah, we're on a budget, so I had to buy the uh, Zelda hair, so not exactly intimidating. I'm not sure if I'm sold on the hair or not, but. I still gotta find a hammer too. Okay, found a hammer. I don't know, Thor had a mullet, right? Is that how it works? I think I've got a tag in here somewhere too. Oh, Hensley, look at you. You're a fairy. Is she a fairy or a butterfly? Hensley, are you a fairy or a butterfly? Butterfly. A butterfly. You're a butterfly, okay. A She's fairy a bu butterfly princess. Fairy butterfly princess with a wand. <laughs> this is actually pretty toned down for me. I can never <laughs> let Nathan pick out his own costume because it's usually inappropriate, was great. <laughs> inappropriate by accident. Well, you, the hot dog year, we're going to a Halloween party and I was like, is everybody dressing up? She says, yeah, yeah, everybody will dress up. So I put on my hot dog outfit and she was like, were you a cat that year and you had some ears? So I showed up, none of the girls were dressed up. Two guys had camo shirts on and said they're from Duck Dynasty and I had a full body hot dog outfit on. <laughs> I still think she knew what was going on at that party. You're shaking my camera, butterfly. <gasps> these, these are meant for a three-year-old, but. <laughs> 
You still should have worn that Wonder Woman outfit that was made for like a 12 year old to try to get you to wear it. Oh my goodness, those are so tiny. Are they? Yeah. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Got your wand? I think you're locking the way. <laughs> Whatever. So my family has an annual Halloween party every year. We used to do it at mine and Nathan's house, but since uh, since we sold our house, we had, did we do it at the RV when you or were we just I think gone we were going to, to? And I think the weather. I think it was going to rain or something, mm, so we couldn't do it. And that's so it, right. Everything's weather dependent. I mean, we can't pack you know, twenty plus people into our RV, so yeah. <laughs> So my brother, he just bought a new house. He's getting married uh, here in a couple months. So uh, we are passing the torch and he is starting his tradition at his new house when they get married. So we actually haven't even seen his house. They just closed on it. I don't even think they have furniture. <laughs> Where are we sitting? Oh, we were supposed to bring chairs. That and we forgot the blanket. We might as well just go back at this point. Are you a princess? Are you Batgirl Mackenzie? I or? am. Okay. I'm not fully zipped up, so. <laughs> mm -hmm. They weren't kidding. I got a couch. <laughs> She's flying. <laughs> you need your hammer. So Are my muscles any bigger than usual? <laughs> I doubt it. I've got, yeah, here's my hammer, so. So we had a good time. Hold on. Got some... <laughs> your hair's in your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we had a good time with family. Any excuse we can have to get together and eat. Is... Yeah. And wear wigs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm looking for an excuse. I don't know. The blonde's kind of growing on me. It uh, is. I don't know. Um, it says she it, it. it might be hard to keep up on the road, but. <laughs> <laughs> I could die myself. It wouldn't be a problem. <laughs> so, we're going to call it a night. We'll uh, catch you guys later.